Well, joining me now is Diana Verde Nieto. She is co-founder and CEO of Positive Luxury. It's a company that supports luxury brands committed to sustainability and protecting the environment. Thanks so much for speaking to us, Diana. You know, businesses like the one we've just featured are exactly what you want to see in, in luxury retail. But how hard is it to get luxury re retailers, I mean, who really cater to some of our most superficial instincts, how hard is it to get them to think about sustainability and the environment? Hi, good afternoon. Um, actually, it's not that hard. Um, most luxury brands today are really thinking about the environmental issues uh, that affect their businesses and affect the planet, and also are thinking about how they can actually make a positive impact uh, in the world. So we work with brands, um, small brands and big brands, like for example, Louis Vuitton. Um, we also work with smaller fashion brands and hotel groups and beauty companies like, you know, Kiehl's and Biotherm, One One Skin. And most luxury companies are really into this journey towards sustainability. Okay, I'm, I'm encouraged to hear that because it, I, I got the feeling that they had to be approached uh, with ideas. But it's good to hear that they're actually launching their own kind of sustainability uh, initiatives. But, I mean, tell us why your efforts actually focused on luxury retailers uh, in the first place. Why did you think it was important that that kind of big money product uh, would be focusing on environmental sustainability? Well, if luxury cares about this, the whole world will care about this. Um, if you think about the high street uh, and you think about Fashion Week, for example, you see a garment in the catwalk and then five minutes later or three minutes later are in every um, high street shop. So if luxury leads the way on this, the rest of the industry would follow, which is actually what has been happening now. Um, luxury inherently has been incredibly bad at communicating what they do. And um, that is why we come into play. So what positive luxury does is basically connect luxury really cares about sustainability with luxury brands that actually are doing their bit. Okay. And uh, through the butterfly market. Uh, quickly, quickly, uh, Deanna, I just wanted to get your opinion on some of the most interesting creative examples you've seen out of luxury retailers looking for sustainability. So there's many. Um, for example, you know, um, in stores like Louis Vuitton, they have completely refitted over 460 stores, um, looking at all the impact from their carbon emissions, uh, their electricity, uh, packaging, waste, etc. Uh, companies like Stephen Webster, they actually constantly innovate into new materials. Beauty companies are really looking into uh, waste and packaging and how can they reduce um, packaging out of their supply chain. Um, IWC watches, for example, again, look at the business 360. Okay. And one of the things that really strike that positive luxury is the fact that is leadership. Great. Diana, I'm going to have to interrupt you there. Unfortunately, we're out of time for this news hour. Thanks so much for joining us there, though. That is a wrap.